Listen to the Vibes. Welcome, everyone, to another episode of Listen to the Vibes. I'm very happy to welcome Mr. Rahul Sharma here with me. Uh, he is an author, he is a speaker, and a leadership coach. And so we're going to get to know him, have a great conversation. Let's kick it off. Tell us a little bit more about yourself. Sure. Uh, Rahul is a person uh, who believes in the power of mind talk. And uh, I believe that uh, where there is a will, there is a way. And uh, being into uh, leadership and learning and development for almost two decades, it has helped me to help others. And that is what my motto of my life is. So I get inspiration when I help others, when I see other getting success. That's my inspiration. So what exactly do you do to help people change their mindset? Because I mean, like for so many, uh, we are, number one, probably our own worst enemies. And, you know, you, you, you listen to all the experts, you read all the books and somehow things never seem to change how do we how do we change those things so kyle uh things will not change unless and until we want to make a change it's all within us and for me the first thing i encourage my uh learners or my coaches is to have a belief in themselves they have a power to do something that they have never imagined so believing in themselves and cultivating the habit of positivity in their life is something I believe that will take them to the next level. Because in today's world, we are filled with negativity all around. Uh, whether it is a news, whether you open your uh, phone, there is something or other is happening. So we need to cultivate that habit of positive thoughts in our mind which in turn allow us to have a positive mindset. Um, like for me, I, I, I know I should be uh, more positive in thinking about myself. Um, I, I'll, I'll tell you what, I'm a very persistent person. Mm -hmm. um, I continuously, even when I fail, I, I try and I try and try, but then there gets to that point where I'm like, is it just me? Am I cursed? What <laughs> what's going on? How do you how do you get yourself more confident in yourself? So uh, I would uh, in, in that situation, it is also important for us to have uh, surrounded by people who gives us positivity, uh, surrounded by people who can challenge us and can bring that belief back in our own self about the positivity. And by positivity, I'm not saying that 24-7, 365, you need to be positive. Yes, if you can, amazing. But we are human beings, you know, we, we cannot have that every now and then. So there will always be a moment where we are in our low life. And when we are in that moment, it is important for us to have a conversation with, with someone who believes in you, who believes in the power that you have. So connect with those like-minded people who can who can get that positivity out of you. Now, there's going to be some folks out there. Um, I was part of this group that you you have this continuous circle of friends who don't seem to want to move forward. Uh, those guys that you used to hang out with back in high school that like to you know party and mm -hmm. you know get drunk, get high and here we are. I mean, I'm in my fifties and I still have those friends who think they're still in high school. Mm -hmm. People find it hard to, to uh, get away from those kind of folks, but that's pretty important if you want to be successful, right? Absolutely. Absolutely. And, and uh, this is one thing I learned from my father. He used to tell me that you need to surround yourself with people who are better than you who are more knowledgeable than you, who are more uh, inspiring to you. Um, because that's when you will be uh, always on your toes. <laughs> Learn from them and you will never be in the comfort zone that, hey, you are you are the one who know it all. So uh, that would be my, my input that surround yourself with people who are better than you, who, who are uh, inspiring to you and someone from whom you can learn. 
if you are the only person in the group who is teaching to everyone, <laughs> then probably it will be a little challenging. So uh, if that is the situation with our learners, then they need to uh, you know, regroup and find more people in their inner circle so they can learn and they can uh, uh, get better. And do you feel like there's something that makes you stand out above other coaches? Uh, well, uh, see, most of the coaches uh, are pretty similar. They have a coaching certification, uh, the experience. Um, I would say maybe I'm very emotionally uh, attached to my coaches. It's, it's more than is about the commercials. Uh, and uh, I get attached and sometimes some may say that it's not good, uh, but that is how I am. So more than the commercial, it is the, the challenge that the person is having, uh, how I can help them uh, uh, to, and then I work with them to solve their problem rather than telling them only my way. Mm. So I don't have a silver bullet. I don't have a, a magic wand in between that I will solve everyone's problem. But what I have is those the tools, the wisdom, and can enable them to solve their own problems. So it is the coachee who will solve their problem. I will not solve the problem. I will just provide them the path or guide them. And your newest book is coming out in May? Yes, uh, it's coming on, on May 9th, uh, uh, 2023. Yeah. Ah, and if people want to get that book, where would they go? So uh, my book currently is on uh, pre-order at Amazon. Uh, they can also log into my website, habitsformiracles.com. Uh, they will be able to uh, uh, see the purchase link. Ah. Well, before we end this, do you have any kind of advice that you could give folks out there to at least get them on the right path? The only advice I will give is uh, realize the power of your mind. Your power is the greatest superpower that we have, the natural gift that the Almighty has given to us. And focus on positivity, focus on the people who are giving you positivity. You have a lot of desire to get what you want and you can. You have that power, you have greatness in you. Just focus on your mind power and see the miraculous result that it will give to you. All right. And lastly, are you on social media? I am. I am on Insta and Facebook and LinkedIn as well. Uh, well, I happen to know that you are, and I'm going to be sharing those uh, in the description so people can find you real easily. Awesome. And, and Rahul, man, thank you for bringing your wisdom here and sharing your time with me. Uh, I really, really do appreciate it. Thank you, Kyle, for having me here. I really appreciate your time as well. Wow. And I also want to thank all you folks out there. If you happen by the channel, this is your first time. Well, I hope you'll come back. Please hit that subscribe button. And for my regulars, you guys make it possible for me to do this. And I can't thank you enough. So until the next one, everyone, please take care. Be kind to one another. God bless and peace. We hope you enjoyed this episode of Listen to the Vibes. You can catch us on Buzzsprout or wherever you listen to your favorite podcasts. And on YouTube. Follow us on Facebook at The Vibes Broadcast Network.